What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwid, and I'm back again today bringing you guys another episode of the budget series here on my channel. And yes, guys, we are looking again at the offensive line. And the reason for it is because if you saw my video a few days ago, it was called Madden 15 Mythbusters. And what I did was actually go in and take a look at the offensive linemen in the game, and I tested to see which attributes actually matter for offensive linemen, specifically talking about either is it the pass block and run block attributes or the pass block footwork, pass block um, strength, run block footwork, run block strength, which one of those actually matters. So like I said, I did an experiment and determined that the ones that I thought were the ones that mattered actually do not matter, and the ones that I thought were irrelevant were the ones that do matter. Ah, oh, this game's confusing. But <laughs> anyway, I wanted to make sure that I made a new video to make sure that you guys understand the cards that we're looking for now, um, and, and I wanted to give you guys a new updated budget offensive line to, to take a look at here. So rather than doing it in two videos, I decided that I'm just going to put it together in one, and I'm also going to leave an annotation on those previous budget offensive line videos and let people know that the new one is the one, this one that you guys are watching right now is the one that they should go to, just in case people happen to stumble upon that old one. So hopefully they're able to uh, get over here and get the correct information. So with that being said, guys, let's go in and let's start to take a look at this offensive line, uh, the revamped budget offensive line that we're going to be taking a look at. Concepts still remain relatively similar, but it's actually going to be easier for us to look at these attributes now because there aren't quite so many of them. So let's start off at the left tackle position, and we're going to be taking a look at the 80 overall left tackle, Andrew Whitworth, and he is going for 3,100 coins, and we're going to be comparing him to the 90 overall right or left tackle, excuse me, elite Joe Thomas, and that card is going for about 115,000 coins. So many, many times more expensive here. We're talking almost 40 times more expensive for Joe Thomas than Andrew Whitworth. And I'm not going to try and tell you that Andrew Whitworth is better than Joe Thomas. But what I will tell you is that I don't think you're going to see that significant of a difference between the two of them. So again, guys, if you're new to the series, yellow obviously means that they're the same in that attribute. Red means that the card that you're looking at is lower than the other one. And green means that it's higher. So pretty simple there. But the major attributes that we look at here are strength, impact block, run block, pass block, awareness, and acceleration. Now, the most important ones, in my opinion, are run block and pass block, although the other two at the top, strength and impact block, can also have uh, an important factor when you're comparing the two cards. Awareness and acceleration, in my personal opinion, are not quite as important, but we put them on there just so that people can get the full picture of how good these different offensive linemen are. And obviously, there are other things that you can take into consideration as well, speed and uh, and that kind of stuff, depending on you know how you use your offensive linemen. But for the most part, these are the things that we're going to look at here. These six attributes. So Andrew Whitworth, same strength as Joe Thomas at 92. That was a little bit surprising to me. They also had the same awareness at 90. So that again was kind of surprising to me because typically you're going to see with your higher overall cards, those are typically going to have higher awareness. But that wasn't really the case here. Andrew Whitworth still has decent awareness uh, within an offensive lineman card. Now, the run block and pass block is kind of interesting here because Andrew Whitworth is actually higher. He has a better run blocking attribute than Joe Thomas by three. His pass block is a little bit lower, though. He is only an 85 as opposed to uh, Joe Thomas being a 94. However, I still think that 85 is actually going to be pretty good for most people. I'm not overly concerned about that. Uh, it's not particularly low for the position. So decent enough anyway. And I think that when you combine the fact that it's going to have good strength, good awareness, and amazing run block, this Andrew Whitworth is so worth 3,100 coins. And I can't believe that it's only 80 overall. I just don't understand how that mathematically works out. It's got to be something like, you know, that the fact that it only has 65 acceleration or something must just play a huge part in it. But I'm not too worried about 65 acceleration when all these other attributes look so good. I definitely think this card is a very, very nice budget left tackle. Moving on now to the left guard position, and what we have here at the left guard position is Jonathan Cooper of the Arizona Cardinals, who I believe was actually the left guard that we used in the previous video, so that's a little bit surprising because, you know, when I was changing the criteria, I expected all the cards to change a lot, but that isn't actually the case. Jonathan Cooper still very good overall as a left guard, only 78 overall. He goes for about 4,200 coins. 
And then, of course, we're going to be comparing him to the 90 overall Logan Mankins, which is a former New England Patriot. Now a member of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but if you're looking for him on the auction block, you are going to find him under the Patriots. And it's an elite card for a team captain, and that's kind of why I think this card's going for as expensive as it is. Because when you compare the attributes, I don't really think it's that significant of a difference between these two. Now, Jonathan Cooper obviously is lower in run block. He's nine lower in run blocking, and that is kind of a concern. But the thing that makes up for it is the fact that he does have an 86 pass block, which is a pretty nice number for a left guard. I mean, it's not spectacular, but it's good. And then if you add in the fact that it does have the 84 run block, really not that bad overall. It's a pretty solid duo of numbers there for the most important attributes. And then if you add in strength, that and that has an 89 attribute for Jonathan Cooper, not bad. Really not bad. It's a pretty solid offensive lineman. Now, he is low in things like impact block, but to me, I'm not super concerned about that because it, it really only matters, to be completely honest with you, when you're looking at, like, pulling guards. And even then, I mean, your offensive linemen are only going to get maybe a, a handful of them at the most per game. So to me, it's not really that significant of an attribute. I'm more worried about if they're going to be able to control the guy in front of them on a play-to-play -play basis. And because of that, it doesn't really bother me that Jonathan Cooper is a little bit lower in that area. Now, another thing that I wanted to point out is that Jonathan Cooper does have high acceleration. 85 acceleration is one of the highest that you're going to find for an offensive lineman. So that was a little bit surprising to me. I, I wouldn't really imagine that he would be that. But, you know, it is what it is. You take the cards for what they're worth. But what I will tell you is that the left guard position is probably the hardest that I found to find quality players at at a budget. So there is going to be a lot of cases where you're going to see people taking left tackles or centers, even right guards, right tackles, and placing them at left guard. Just because you can get some more higher attributes out of those positions than maybe you can at left guard. But if you're looking for somebody that's still going to give you those boosts for your chemistries, you need to use the player at the position. And that's why I use Jonathan Cooper. Like like I said, I don't love this card overall, but it does have nice attributes in the area of run block and pass block at 84 and 86. Very, very high for a card that's only going for 4,200 coins. Now, the big thing, the biggest thing I should say that I'm disappointed in in this card is that it only has 63 awareness. Now, I haven't been able to determine in the, the little bit of experimenting that I've done that awareness is a massive thing for offensive linemen, but... People are insistent that it does matter, so that's why I included on these attributes. And overall, though, like I said, I'm not super interested in their awareness. I mean, it does. If it's if I'm comparing cards and they're fairly close to one another, I'll take the one with the high, higher awareness. But if the only real difference between cards is that one has 99 awareness and one has uh, 65 awareness, and they're 50 times difference in, in price, like these cards are, or, or 60 times difference in price, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take the cheaper one. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the cheaper one because, like I said, awareness. I think it does matter, but I think it's a little bit overrated by some people, especially when you're talking about offensive line. On defense, it might matter a little bit more. So let's take a look then at center because that's the next position. And I think that center, you're going to find a very, very nice card here. I think that you could honestly make the case that 85 overall gold Marquise Pouncey, which is going for 8,500 coins roughly, might actually be better than 90 overall Nick Mangold, New York Jets team captain elite card, which is going for almost 100,000. It's currently around 95,000 on most consoles. So let's compare these two. And also too, I want to point out, this is the most expensive of the offensive linemen, but I really wanted to include this card. And I'm really going to encourage you if you're looking for a budget center to just do a couple extra solo challenges and pay for this because this card is really, really good. It's really, really good across the board. So first things first, strength, the same between these two, 92, 92. Impact block, Marquise Pouncey is actually better. He has a 95 impact block, which is absolutely ridiculous for a card that is only 85 overall. That is a super high attribute. Run block and pass block. This was this is actually where I like Marquise Pouncey better for the most part. Now, he does have a little bit lower with the two less in pass block, but he's three higher in run block. So overall, between the two, he's one higher than Nick Mangold. And like I said, those are the attributes that really matter most. Run block, pass block. Those are the things that I look at first, and then I look at everything else secondarily. So... Overall, definitely, like I said, Marquise Pouncey, very, very nice card. He does have a little bit higher acceleration, too, with 86 to 85. 
The where he lags behind is the awareness, but just like I said in the last slide, I'm not that worried about awareness. When you're talking about two cards that are fairly similar like these in most of the attributes, I'm going to take the one that's cheaper. I'm going to take the one that has the slightly lower awareness, and 79 isn't atrocious anyway. It's not high, but it's still pretty good. For a center, all they really need to do is just pick up the blitzing middle linebacker if they're coming in or ta or hit the guard or or not guard, hit the defensive tackle and help out the guard, I should say. Uh, and that's really where Marquise Pouncey, I think, is going to do a good job. He's an excellent blocker up the middle, and you're not going to have a whole lot of problems running the football behind him. For a center, I do look at run blocking more than I look at pass blocking as well. So that's something to consider as well. Next on the list that we have is our right guard position, and this one is amazing. You're going to see a lot of red here on the Larry Warford card on the left-hand side of your screen, but I want you to actually look at the numbers between these two because these, these two cards are very, very close to one another. First things first that I want to look at, run blocking, 90 for Larry Warford. And again, like I said, for your interior offensive linemen, I like to have guys that have higher run block numbers because I'm typically going to be running up the middle. And not only that, but your defensive line, they're usually built where your interior defensive linemen are better at run support than they are pass, uh, pass rushing in this game. So I'm not so much worried about their pass blocking, although it's still nice to have a really high pass block number, which Larry Warford does have as well. Uh, but again, uh, the run blocking is the most important thing. So 90 for a run block for Larry Warford, that is an amazing number. Then you go up even a little bit higher. You go to the pass block and you've got the 95 pass block for Larry Warford. Now, as you can see here, that is actually lower than Jari Evans on the right-hand side of your screen, but Jari Evans is the most expensive right guard that I could find. As of right now, when I'm recording this video, he is going for 55,000 more coins than the next highest right guard in terms of price. So definitely worth looking at other cards that might have comparable attributes. And that's what this Larry Warford really does. It does have, uh, like I said, a better run block. It's only one lower in pass block. So if you compare the two overall, your pass block and your run block, if you add the two up, Larry Warford's actually better than Jari Evans, which is crazy. Acceleration, they're very close to one another. Larry Warford's only three fewer. Strength, he's still very high at a 90, although Jari Evans with that 97 is going to be just an absolute monster. But, I mean, when you compare these two, like I said, you really have to look at the price difference. 30 times more expensive for Jari Evans than Larry Warford. And I just don't think you're getting 30 times better of a player. I mean, he's he's just not. There's just no way. So that's why I really think that Larry Warford might actually be, despite the fact that you see all this red on the screen, I think that he might be the best budget offensive lineman in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. Very, very nice card. Get your hands on it if you can. I'm assuming that the price is going to rise on this card over the next couple of days here, at least while this video is first coming out, because people tend to do that. They tend to go and buy these immediately and raise the price on them. You jackasses, try not to do that. Please, just let's keep these cards at least moderately priced. Let's not rise it too much. Then we take a look now at the right tackle position, and this is going to be the last one for today. But I'm going to give you guys a card that I think is a pretty solid one overall. It does have decent awareness, so it actually has the same awareness as Anthony Davis, and that is DeMar Dotson, who is an 84 overall right tackle for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He's going for about 4,000 coins, whereas Anthony Davis, the elite 49ers, right tackle at 88 overall is going for about 60,000 coins. So, you know, many, many times, again, more expensive, in this case, 15 times more expensive for Anthony Davis than DeMar Dotson. And again, I just don't think that there's a justifiable reason that these should be that much different. Right tackles are going to be, again, primarily focused on pass blocking. And that's why I like DeMar Dotson at, at a 92 pass block versus Anthony Davis being a 90 pass block. Then you look at the run blocking, and DeMar Dotson's still acceptable at an 87. That's still a really nice number. Anthony Davis, of course, one of the best run blocking right tackles in the game at 93. And he does also have 91 strength, so he's a little bit higher than DeMar Dotson there. But then you compare impact block, and DeMar Dotson has an 88 impact block versus uh, Anthony Davis's 86. So I really think that these cards are a lot more comparable than people would let you think just by looking at the prices of them and the fact that one's a red card and one's a gold card. 
there's a there's not that big of a difference between these two and that's why I'm definitely recommending that you guys take a look at DeMar Dotson for your right tackle position so with that being said guys like I said what I wanted to do is really give you an idea of what to look at with these offensive linemen these are not the only cards in the game that have good attributes these are not the only budget players at the offensive line positions but these are the ones that I found to be the best uh, given the prices that they were currently at. Now, as time goes on and after this video is out, obviously I can't go back and update the video based on how YouTube works. So you're going to have to do your own research on these cards. When they start to get released and you go in and you see Madden releasing them, you look at Twitter and you see EA Sports tweeting out the new offensive lineman that got released, go and look at these attributes. See if they're high in run block, pass block, see if they have good strength and impact block, and if their awareness and acceleration are acceptable. Because if they are and they're going for a low price why not get them you know really just go and pick them up because it's definitely worth it to get guys who are lower priced because and especially on the offensive line because you're not usering them ever so who really cares what their overall or anything like that is you just need them to you really just need them to perform so like I said when you when you're saving money on your offensive line then you can go in and you can afford your better quarterbacks or your better safeties and corners or uh, getting a star wide receiver or a running back you can do that if you don't spend a ton of coins on your offensive line and that's really what I'm trying to help you guys do today so with that being said I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you press that like button don't forget to leave a comment and let me know if you guys have tried out these cards if you have any questions on anything I'd be glad to answer those in the comment section as well and if you're new to the channel make sure that you press that subscribe button as well because that's how you're going to know when I put out new Madden 15 ultimate team videos when I'm doing fantasy football podcasts everything like that I'm doing a ton of different stuff on my channel so I hope you guys are enjoying all that stuff Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.